EMDR stands for Eye Movement Desensitization and Reprocessing. It is a form of trauma processing, a therapeutic approach, where information that occurred during a trauma becomes stuck in the right side of the brain, like puzzle pieces that don't fit together. And then the EMDR process helps the information that's stuck uh, as unfit puzzle pieces become unstuck and put away properly on the left side of the brain. And why does that work for addiction? Um, with addiction, people are uh, usually not addicted to the um, substance or behavior itself, but actually the feeling state, the positive feeling state of that the addiction or behavior produces. And so that becomes something that the individual is seeking to feel. Maybe it's to escape something or maybe it's to, to actually get in touch with feelings that they can't otherwise access without the behavior or, or the substance. Um, and EMDR works by sort of unlinking those um, feeling states with the behavior or the substance and then identifying the negative core belief or the trauma that's actually responsible for that addiction or for the need for that substance or behavior. So it's the trauma which caused the addiction? Simply, yes. And what is trauma? So trauma is uh, any experience in our lives where we're overwhelmed by uh, the situation and at the same time we've experienced um, either actual real danger or the perception of danger. So those two things together, overwhelm plus danger, means that the individual is primed for trauma. Well, what's interesting about that is that not everyone has the trauma that is obvious, uh, tragic circumstances happening. You mentioned small T traumas. What is that? So small T traumas are the traumas that I consider kind of goes under the radar. So. Um, this would be any experience of, say, early life uh, bullying, uh, or bullying any time really, um, or tense family atmospheres, or experiencing emotional or psychological neglect or emotional abuse, um, maybe moving a lot in childhood, or um, growing up with a parent that has a psychological disorder, something like that. Any of those things are, are not really that obvious, usually. Um, and those are the things that are kind of, they're, they're very, you know, over time they build up and they begin to be something that actually is a significant source of, of stress, but usually it's not seen uh, early on. And how does EMDR work in terms of physically? What happens in the therapist's office? So in the therapist's office, it looks very weird, usually. People find it strange. Um, but the therapist would be sitting kind of in front of um, the client, but just off to the side a little bit. And we'll either be using hand movements to go left and right in front of the client's face, and the client follows the, the therapist's uh, eye, uh, hand with their eye. Um, or it could be tapping on the knees, or the therapist could give the client some theratappers, which are little buzzers, I call them buzzies. Um, and uh, they just vibrate ever so slightly, left, right, left, right, left, right. So it doesn't really look like regular talk therapy. It looks something different. So something physically is happening in the body. Something is physically happening. Yeah, so as the, you know, the therapist um, is stimulating, say, the right hand or the right eye, the left side of the brain is responding to that and vice versa. So the left, left side of the body is stimulated, the right side of the brain is stimulated. And because that information is going back and forth, back and forth, the information is actually crossing over the corpus callosum and the information is being transferred to both sides of the brain. And one more time, simply what is an EMDR? So EMDR stands for eye movement desensitization and reprocessing. And it is a a uh, trauma reprocessing approach that helps clients uh, get unstuck from a particular trauma they, they experienced and to be able to use their more current or their life's experience to help them make sense of that trauma.